Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today's video I'm taking down all of the Christmas decor and getting that stored away. I'm also going to be decluttering as I go. We have lots of old Christmas decor that needs to be cleaned out so if you're looking for some good cleaning and decluttering motivation I got you. Also in today's video I'm sharing a really easy crock pot recipe. I had a lot to do on this day so it seemed fitting to just throw dinner in their crock pot and that way we didn't have to worry about it. We're going to start off by getting the crock pot on so that it can be cooking while I do everything else that I need to do. We're going to be making low carb creamy onion pork chops. I'll have the recipe linked down below. I have these boneless pork chops. I'm going to first get seared. This part is optional but it does add some extra flavor. These are from ButcherBox and they were really really good. We've been happy with all of the meat so far that we have received from ButcherBox. I don't always use a crock pot liner, but I definitely wanted to today. They just make the cleanup process a little bit easier. So I'm going to place that down into my crock pot and then I'll go ahead and put in my pork chops. Next, I'm going to chop up one large yellow onion and place that on top. The recipe also calls for two cubes of chicken bouillon. However, we were out, so I had to improvise, and I used two chicken flavored ramen packets. So I'm just dissolving that into two cups of hot water, and then we're gonna pour that over the pork chops and the onion. I set my crock pot on high for six hours, but they were actually done after four hours. Uh, these were a little bit thicker, so I wasn't sure how long they would actually take, so I just kept checking on them, and like I said, they were done after four hours. Anyway, so now that those are on, I'm going to get the dishes washed up so that they aren't sitting there in the sink, and then I'm going to go ahead and start taking down all of the Christmas decor.
myself to hold my hand Standing in the shadows of where we have been Sleeping with your back next to me Now to start taking down all of this decor and getting the living room cleaned up we're gonna be donating our tree this year so when it comes down it will not be going back into storage I'm actually gonna find a family that can use it and we'll donate it the small space that we have we're looking to get a pencil tree for next year so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get started I have some gift bags here that have already been opened but I still need to go through and put everything away I'm just gonna stick those bags in my room for now and then I'll sort them out later and also some presents under the tree that are actually for the boys from some of our family they have gone to their dads this week so they'll get those when they get back Before I start putting the decor away, I need to go through these totes and clear out anything that we don't use anymore. As you can see, they are pretty full. I don't have much organization going on either, so I'm going to go through each tote and try to put back everything as organized as I can.
running around in circles But if you don't even want to try I need to know it Can we just open up? Cause I got to know If you feel the things I do I might need some help if you This clear bin with the green lid will be what I put all of the donations in Tons of old stockings and ornaments that we just don't use anymore And what I decided to do with all of the balls is organize them by color into gallon and Ziploc bags and I ended up doing all of the ornaments the same. As I'm taking everything off of the tree, I'm just throwing it into a pile and then I'll go through and sort it into the correct bags when I'm all done. I'm more than likely going to change up the theme next year. We got two good years out of this one, so I feel like next year we'll be ready to change it up. But I don't know. We'll see. I did want to hold on to everything just in case. And if I do change it up, then I'll donate all of this as well. And at least it'll be organized if I do. <laughs> Also, I am so excited because guess what room is next on my mobile home makeover series. It's going to be this one. I have a vision in my head for it, so I'm excited to bring that to life in the next few months. And I'll, of course, be filming the whole process so you'll get the whole thing from start to finish in one video. So I can't wait to get started on that.
gotta give a little just a there's so So apart from the Christmas tree, here is everything I'll be donating. I've already found a family that can use it, so I'll be taking that over to them later. So Ray does not use this little rocker anymore so I'm going to take that and wash the cover on it and then I actually have a friend who's having a baby so I'll be donating that to her and that'll give us a little bit of extra space. Ray got some new toys for Christmas so we need a little bit of extra space. I get so caught up in the middle 
Thinking of drowning in his blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie That I die I can't hide Before I end the video, I wanted to finish up the crock pot recipe. We had actually grabbed it and finished it off at a family member's house. So if you notice the change of scenery, that's why. So as I stated earlier, four hours in and this is what it was looking like. The pork chops were done and actually very tender. So the last thing you'll do is whisk in eight ounces of sour cream and let it cook for an additional 30 minutes and that'll complete this dinner. If you want it to be thicker, you could take out some of that juice before you put in the sour cream, but I just left it how it was. We served it with mashed potatoes, green beans, and some Formula L biscuits. We've just discovered this biscuit mix from Walmart and it's seriously the best, but yeah, these pork chops, this is the first time we had ever made these and they were delicious. So we'll definitely make those again. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it motivated you. It does feel good to have everything put away. And if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe before you leave so that you don't miss any of my videos. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.